Hi everyone, um, today we are going to look at the basic introduction to fluid scene system. We are going just to design a very basic one for us to be able to understand how to use fluid seam for the purpose of designing um, electro uh, pneumatic circuit or electro hydraulic circuit. Um, this is a, a follow up on the theoretical part that we have covered. We have done calculations, we have done introduction, talk about the direct control valve, uh, ceiling, uh, double acting cylinders, single acting cylinders and all other type of components that are found in the um, uh, mechatronics um, and also instrumentation process. So firstly what is very important um, is to start a new project. To start a new project, um, we have two options. You go to File and select New, or you can Control N, or you can just go Direct and click and click here for a new file. Then you have this working space where you will be placing your component. And on our left hand side, you have our component that's available for us to do a design. Um, then what is also important is to make sure that you save your your your, your 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 design. You go to file, save as, and then um you select you you type or whatever name that you want. I'll just write basic, and then say okay, say save. You say yes. Then as you can see here it has changed to basic so this is very important uh, for basic for us to understand to be able to save our project because um, we might encounter uh, different challenges um, with the load shading and, and, and power failures so it's important to make sure that you save your project now and again now we are going to uh, just do a basic um, circuit that will have a single acting cylinder uh, with a, uh, a push button and a, a return spring. So we'll have a control valve that will have a push button and a return spring. Um, as you can see on our right hand side on our library, we don't have um, a direct control valve with a push button, but that way I, I want us to look at so that we'll be able to assist um those people will be using this software for a very first time so we will take a prepare tool and then we will look also for a double acting uh, sorry a single acting cylinder because we are trying just to use a very basic um circuit we are designing a very basic circuit for us here i'll just press a, a push button then the cylinder will extend you release a push button the cylinder will retract and this is our single acting cylinder with the return spring when you release your push button it should automatically return back to the original position now um now to 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 to, to put um push button on our direct control valve and the return spring you double click and it will take you um to this page or to this um configure wave valve box where you will now need to determine um how you want to actuate or how do you how do you, or how do you want to control your um control valve so here on our left hand side as you can see um we have our left actuation so our circuit we want to control it using a push button but as we can see here we have um, different types of actuation you have a manual you have mechanical you have pneumatical and electrical so uh, depending on what you want to use so if you want to control it manually you click here then there is a, a list of manual uh, control um, you have a, pe a foot pedal here you have a, a, a pedal also with the um, a lever a push button so these are the manually controlled and if you want mechanical you come here these are mechanical controlled and if you want to control your your, your control valve using 
a pneumatical or electrical you click here these are the options that we have for uh, this software this is a solenoid when you're controlling it electrically and we have this um, dot when you're controlling it uh, pneumatically and this is um, where you're controlling it both pneumatical and solenoid so this uh, also important for us to be able to know and on top here you have a return spring and then if we want to have our um, our that control valve to have a return spring on the left and also here you can if you want to pilot your 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 direct valve you can also um, click here and it will be piloted for now for this purpose we just want to make it manual control and uh, to use a push button you click here now here we have a valve body where you want to determine um um the position of your of your of your valve uh, as it is now we are here and as you can see here we have this is the initial position so we are saying the initial position should be this one if i click here the initial position would be this one so if it's a, 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 a if it's a four a four by two or a, a, a four by four a four by four also you can also determine which one would be the initial position for these purposes this is um will leave as it is and we said our control valve must have a return same um thing or, or what is on the left is on the right so we want this one to be a return spring so also you could also have on the side instead of being a return spring we can have a push button to take it back to the initial position but here we choose a return spring and then you click ok another way to open here um, the properties you can right click and go to properties so these are the two methods it's either you double click okay or you go to your your valve and then you click uh, right click and go to properties it take you one in the same position and then we connect our our cylinder with our valve we just um when you have this screen then you click and hold and you have this screen you release the mouse so this is how um easy it is to use then you can now as we said this is a name a numerical circuit so you need a, a compressor to put pressure on our um, on our circuit so this is our a compressor then we must have and uh, remember uh, the the pressure that will be the will, will, will be in our cylinder must be exhausted um, so uh, we need exhaustion in this case we will use a sucker uh, but in other um, uh, the latest models that you may find uh, they will have an exhaustion um, uh, component in this case we don't have exhaustion component we only have a sucker it's used one in the same um, um, um uh, uh, it's one on the same application so uh let's connect our pressure to port and um and also our return part to a circum and also um most uh books they don't uh, refer uh this port with numbers they use uh, alphabet they will say this is a this is uh, p this is r now p it's where you you put your pressure are it's where it is a return path where you you take your pressure to to the sucker or to the exhaustion and then a because this is a, a group by two this will be a where it's our output um that will will take pressure into our uh, cylinder or vice versa so we have connected our a single acting cylinder as a basic um, control circuit we are going to press a push button um, our cylinder should extend when you re release a push button automatically must retract you go here and say play as we can see here we have pressure that is going to our valve uh, but there's no part for it to extend the cylinder and now 
to achieve our objective we need to press the push button as we can all see it has extended um, this is the path for the pressure I'm going to uh, port 1 and goes up to port um, 2 and then it extend um, our cylinder now the application says um, when you release a push button it must return back we release it it's returned back and this is the path of um, the pressure that is being applied on the cylinder so this is one of the basic um, uh, um, uh, elements that we need to know for us to to design pneumatical circuit or hydraulic circuit or electro pneumatical circuit um, just before I end I want us to check one of the few things that students find themselves making mistake or anyone designing making a many use mistake uh, because sometimes when we are designing this circuit we are not told what kind um, or which type to use uh, for your uh, the, con the control valve so uh, for example a student will decide we have been given a statement to design uh, this basic operation and then a student um, will see fit to use a two by two um, but I just want us to see how um, how a student can evaluate what he is doing or she is doing and see if he can achieve what he need to achieve so let us have this as a, a push button manually push button return spring okay and then we, we connect our our con our our control our control part with this with the cylinder and then we have we have pressure then we've connected now as you can see now there is no return path for our pressure that it will be applied um to our to our cylinder which might we, which will cause our cylinder not to return um but for us we want to press a push button and 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 then extend and release and retract so let's see if we can achieve um that then we see there is pressure into uh, our cylinder but there's no part for it and also there's no part for our 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 return pressure so we press push button is extend we achieve that the second um, thing that we need to achieve when we release it the the, the cylinder should um, retract but cannot retract because there is no return path so this is one of the mistakes that we can we find ourselves uh, doing so um in, in short we can use three by two to be able to control um, a, a single acting cylinder so this is critical for us to note um going forward so that we will avoid having many mistakes when now we are doing simulation so that will be easy for us to do a fault finding just uh, have this basic understanding thank you uh, i hope this video uh, has assisted you and uh, make sure you check other video 